Hello, hello, good evening. Okay, hello. How are you guys? Oh, hello. My camera. Okay. H how's it going, guys? Hello, hello. Very good, very good. <laughs> Great. Okay, today we're going to talk through our elbows. We're going to talk we're going to talk through our elbows, okay? <laughs> Got it? Got it. We're going to talk through our elbows. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? What's the meaning? Repeat, Anybody? please. We are going to talk. We are going to talk through our elbows. Through our elbows. Vamos a hablar hasta por los codos. Okay, <laughs> we're going to talk through our elbows, guys. So please, I hope you started, you started uh, the simple past with actions. Do you remember? Okay, Stephanie, Giovanni, Erika, Rebecca, Hermes, and Edwin. We're still missing like 13 classmates. Okay, 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 let's see. Intermediate. Okay, so let's start. Let's let's go ahead and start the class talking in simple past. Are you ready? Okay. So the way we're gonna do this is I will give you a question, okay? A very simple question to talk in simple past. And it is, what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? If you noticed, I sent you on the chat a list of verbs in present, past, and past participle. Right now, we will be using the middle column, the column in the middle for the simple past. You got it? I got it. Yeah. Okay, but to get into context, to get into the context of the simple past, can you help me? What is the past of Ron? Ron? Excellent. Run. Run, run, yeah. as simple as that. Very good. Now, one advice, un consejo, a tip, is to learn the past participle at the same time. Okay? Es un consejo de antemano aprenderse el pasado participio de una sola vez cuando está viendo el pasado simple, aprenderte el pasado participio de los verbos de una sola vez. Okay? So let's try that. So you have run, run, run. Repeat, run, run, run. Run, run, run. run, run, run. run, run, run. Okay. Run, run, run. Let me do it again. Okay. So you have run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Run, Okay, good. Okay. Be careful with that. In English, no existe la R. Existe la R. Y cada vez que vas a decir una R, tu boca se, se coloca en la forma de una U. 
Okay, you say R Robert, R Robert, Rock, <laughs> Run, Run, Run. Okay. Run. There you go. Run. Perfect. Okay. Then let's go with uh, the past of right. Can somebody help me? What's the past for right? Wrote. Wrote. Excellent. So you say wrote. 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 Yep. Right. And the past right. participle right. will be written. Okay. Written. Wrote. Written. Write. Wrote. Written. Write. Okay. Wrote. Written. There you go. Let me do something better. I'm going to use a different tool instead of this one. Where is it? Just misplace it. Maybe under oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So let's go again. So we said right, okay, and you right. have wrote, and then you have written. Written. We are interested in the simple past form. We're gonna say wrote. Okay. Let's continue. Um, okay. What is the past for swim? Swam. Swam? Okay. Yes. yes, that's right. Swim, swam. And what is the past participle? Swim. Swim. You say swim. 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 Yeah, but we're not focusing on the past participle. Just remember. Traten de aprenderse de una sola vez el pasado participio. Okay, just to be on the top of things. Okay. Uh, let's have the past of walk. Walk. Excellent. Walked. 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 Excellent. ¿Vieron el video? ¿Terminaron? ¿Revisaron el video ayer con los CD endings? Anybody? ¿Vieron el video con los CD endings? No, no lo pude ver. Ok, ok, acuérdense. Pero, CD eh, endings. Y eso ya está en el listado. De... Está en el chat de WhatsApp. Ahí les envié el link. Nomás subí la clase. Les envié el link para que pudieran ver esa parte, revisar esa parte de los CD endings. Ah, ok. Ok, walk, walk. Let's go with study. Can you hear me, guys? Started. Good. Started. 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 Este verbo es regular. Sí, y la regla dice que quito cuando una Y, cuando una Y tiene una consonante antes, quito la Y y agrego IED. Ok, bien, Hermes. Eh, sí, le voy, a, eh, le voy a enviar el link. Los que no están en el grupo de WhatsApp, les voy a enviar el link. Eh, van bien, les voy a enviar ahorita mi celular por el chat de Zoom. Okay. Bien, recuerden la, la primera regla que agregué ayer, chicos. ¿Se acuerdan? Yes. Ok, be on a quiet environment right okay let's move on so study started let's go with easy very simple let's go with save hello save no imagine, imagine no no so what is it no se ve la imagen. Saved. 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 So you have save, saved, saved. Okay. Let's go. Okay, we have go. 
Went. Excellent. Went. Excellent. Went. 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 Just one more. Si. So. So. Okay, repeat. So. 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 Like that. So. 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 Exactly. Eso suena igual que la palabra lo. 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 Uh, lo. Okay. Lo. Ley. Ley. Okay. Lo. So, lo. Okay. Sounds the same. Okay. Got it? So, your question today will be very simple. This is your mission. You have to answer the question. What did you do yesterday? Pay attention. Yesterday... I'm gonna give you an example, okay? Yesterday, I woke up early as I had to go with my friend, Johnny, to London. And we met my ex, girlfriend um katie the answer is oh, no. you have to talk that's <laughs> the point that is the point right now i will split you in groups so you can answer this question so again the question is what did you do yesterday yesterday i woke up early as i had to go with my friend johnny to london and we met my ex-girlfriend, Katie. Katie, I'm sorry, Katie, Katie. over there. Um, we had breakfast at the Eiffel Tower. And, oi, where's Eiffel? No suggestion, okay, Eiffel. I can't remember what's, yeah, no, I can't remember the spelling of Eiffel, at the Eiffel Tower. And then we flown, we flew <laughs> to Praga, where we found Angelina. And we came back to San Salvador at about 10 p.m. Okay, I'll make it short for you. That, that was short. Now, this is my example. This is my example, okay? You have to prepare yours. So listen. Bien, un consejo, chicos. Si ustedes tratan de ocupar su rutina diaria para hablar, no van a pasar de los mismos verbos. Ok, entonces parte de aprender inglés es volverte a alguien más, usar tu creatividad y volverte otra persona, imaginar que sos millonario. ¿Qué harías si fueras millonario? ¿A quiénes tendrías de amigos? Es lo que yo acabo de hacer ahorita. Ok, what did you do yesterday? Yesterday I woke up oh, early as I had to go with my friend Johnny. You know Johnny? Johnny Depp to London. And we met my ex-girlfriend, Katie. You know, Katy Perry, over there. We met my ex-girlfriend, Katy, over there. We had breakfast at the Eiffel Tower. And then we flew to Prague. That is why it's taken me this as wrong. Because it should be where we found Angelina. And we came back to San Salvador at about at about 10 p.m. Okay. There it is, okay, Eiffel. So, can you help me? Can you identify the past verbs in this paragraph? Woke up. Woke up, good. Woke up. Esto es un verbo frasal, chico. Va siempre junto. No puedo poner solo walk, ¿ok? Good job. Walk up. And then? Early. Early? 
Early is an adverb of time. Es un adverbio de tiempo. ¿Qué quiere decir? Temprano. Uh -huh. Verbs. Verbs in past. Uh -huh. I had to go. No. Had. Had. What is the meaning of had? had to it. Or what is the verb in present? Have. 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 Okay, then you have have. Good. Uh -huh. Then? Uh, we met. Met. Good. Yes, we met. Uh -huh. What is the present mm -hmm. of met? Meet. Meet. Excellent. My ex-girlfriend Katie over there. You know what is over there? Over there. What is over Por there? Ahí. Por ahí, allí. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Next. Had again. Had again. Uh, Excellent. Again. Had. That's right. We have it again. We had Where? breakfast. Where? At the Eiffel Tower, and then flu, 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 excellent. Okay, we flew to Prague. Uh huh. Found. Oh, I didn't write it. I'm sorry. Flew. What's the what is the present uh, of flu? The present of flu. Fly. 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 Excellent. And this found. Repeat. Found. 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 Okay, we found. What is the present of found? Find. 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 Excellent. Angelina, and we came back to San Salvador at about 10 p.m. What's the last verb? Came. 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 Just came? Came back. Came, came back. back. Came back. Came back. What is the meaning of came back in English? In English. Came back. Would you return at the original? Excellent. To return to the original point of departure. Great job, Ricardo. Great job. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. So you got it. Now let's identify something. Let's check. Let's check yesterday. You remember yesterday? Subject, verb in past. Plus complement. Complement. Again. Subject, Subject. verb in past. Okay, complement with my friend Johnny to London. Keep an eye, keep an eye, okay, on this. After each sentence, you have a connector as, as in, in, okay, a period. At we had breakfast at the Eiffel Tower and then we flew to Prague and where we found or where could be a point and two. Okay, we came back to San Salvador at about 10 p.m. So always a connector between each sentence. Now your homework to practice every day. Number one is the platform. Number two. You have to make the three structures. Try to make the three structures that I taught you yesterday. I woke up early. What's what's the uh, negative form? What is the negative form? I didn't walk. Bear plus not. Mm, I didn't walk. Early. No, didn't. I didn't wake up. Wake up. Wake Re up. Remember. Present. Walk up. You have the auxiliary. So the verb goes back to the base form. Base form. Okay. Don't forget it. I didn't wake up early. Okay, I didn't wake up early. I didn't wake up early. That's it, I didn't wake up early. Okay, what is the question form? Quick, quick, quick. Did you wake up early? Excellent. Did you, did I? Okay. Did you wake up early? Okay. Be careful with this guy right here in simple present because 
you have the auxiliary. And as I told you yesterday, use colors. Use colors. So your brain adapts, your brain understands that this is important. The red, red is important. Green is important. So your brain goes yes. like, oh my God, what is that? Oh, oh okay. got it? Good. Se entendió algo de lo que dije. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Uh, bien, súper rápido. Tienen 10 segundos. Alguien que me explique qué es lo que vamos a hacer todos los días aparte de hacer los ejercicios en la plataforma. Eh, tratar de, de poner en práctica los acciones con algo propio. Una sí, rutina. Por, tres, <coughs> por lo menos tres, correcto, por lo menos tres este, oraciones de rutina, aunque no sean las de nosotros. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien? A write a book. <laughs> Exacto. Agarrar un notebook y ponerte a hacer esto. Empezar por lo más sencillo que te puede uh, pedir tu cerebro. Que le expliques qué quiere decir el verbo que estás ocupando y que no se te olvide. Uh, ok. Número uno, pones el verbo y su significado en español. Ok. Y luego empezás. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Siguiente verbo. Ok. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Levantarse va con V o con B grande. Es en inglés. Ok, good. So, positivo, negativo, pregunta. Cinco verbos. Todos los días te van a salir 15 oraciones. Cinco positivas, cinco negativas, cinco preguntas. ¿Ya? Todo lo que he visto hasta ahora, aplicarlo de esta manera. Se te van a quedar unos dos verbos todos los días. ¿Sí? Pero tu cerebro va a ir adaptándose a la nueva estructura de hablar. ¿Por qué funciona así? Porque yo no te puedo decir, grabate en tu mente cinco verbos todos los días y mañana te lo reviso. No. Pero te puedo decir a tu cerebro, ocupa en contexto los verbos y tu cerebro va a agarrar el contexto y lo va a relacionar, porque así, así aprendemos los humanos, en base al contexto de las cosas. ¿Ok? ¿Good? Good. Good. Ok. So, let's answer this question together. I will split the class right now, and you have to answer together. One answer per group. What did you do yesterday? Okay? Okay. Okay. As a group, teamwork. Okay. Okay, let's assign this. Three to four for each group. Okay, please accept the invitation. Let's do it, guys. Hi. Hola, buenas noches. ¿Cómo que buenas noches? Hello, good evening. Uh, Come on, say. try it. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Okay. What did you do okay. yesterday? Okay, yesterday. Um, I was. I was in my house at about 8 a.m. Uh, I breakfast uh, a very uh, two ex example eggs and I go my work at about 9 a.m. Okay. Did you prepare the scrambled eggs, Francisco? Uh, yes. Okay, good. So he yes, said, he said, I prepared, prepared. Go again. I confused, 
uh, when, uh, when the pronunciation be pale and prepare. Prepare, prepare, ah, pre prepare. Ah. Ahí se te queda enrollada ah. la lengua hacia atrás. Prepare. Y luego la soltás y haces la D para el pasado. Prepared. The. La segunda regla, acuérdate. Second rule. Prepared. Ok. So I prepared okay. scrambled. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Anybody else? That was good. Okay. Uh, Rebe, Rebecca. Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to answer the question. Yesterday, I traveled to Spain. And I visited my best friend. We ate in a famous, in a famous restaurant near to a castle and we bought a lot of clothes and finally we went to an amazing party awesome very good okay now you said we walked many blocks a lot of walk a lot of blocks right no we ate in a famous restaurant and uh -huh. near to a castle and okay. we bought a lot of clothes and finally we went to, uh, wait, wait, wait. We, I think I'm not getting that part. Um, we walked or we talked a lot of. We bought. Oh, bought. we bought. Bought. Okay, very good. Yeah, repeat. If you say boat, that is a boat. You know, okay. okay. If you say bought, B O T, bought. bought. Excellent. Very good. The past of buy is bought. bought. Now, okay. when you put it together, we bought a, we bought a, okay. We bought a lot of things, you said? Clothes. A lot of clothes. Mm -hmm. Clothes. Lots. Okay, like that. We bought a lot of clothes. Look, we bought a lot of clothes. We bought a lot of clothes. We, we bought a lot of clothes. Try we it. We bought a lot of clothes. Okay. okay, try to join the T sound. We bought a lot of clothes. Y no, es, y no es inglés uh, caliche, no, es inglés americano. Okay, un islate. We bought a lot of clothes. Clothes. Now, the word clothes in plural, that way, sounds like clothes. Same thing. Okay. Okay. Singular, you say cloth. Cloth. Yeah. There you go. Cloth. 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 Very good. Okay, Erika, try it. Okay. In my case, yesterday, uh, I wake up late and I cooked the, di the lunch and we, my family, uh, I don't know, almorzamos. Mm -hmm. uh, and finally, in the in the after in the in the afternoon, okay. In, okay, in the afternoon, uh, we take a rest. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's see. Look at the chat on the on the Zoom, okay? Uh, wake up. I wake up. It was? I woke up. I woke up. Past, past. All the verbs in past right now. I woke up. Now, I say the lunch. I use the article the to say that something is important. Okay? For example, the lunch at the company. I prepare the lunch for the company. I prepare the lunch for the party. I have a party, so it's the lunch. You see? El lunch. Okay, got it? Erika? Yes. Great, yes, great job. Got it. Okay, good. Now, how do you say uh, I we lunch? No, 
we had lunch. Uh, for every time of meal, you're going to use have. So you have breakfast, right? You have breakfast, you have lunch, you have dinner, or you have brunch. You have brunch. Okay, so always have. I have I have dinner, I have breakfast, I have lunch, I have brunch. So we had lunch in past. We had lunch. We take a rest. We took a rest. No, we rested. We rested. Erika? Yes. Rested. Rested. That's okay. the third rule of the Indians. Got it? Yes, I got it. Perfect. Okay, and last but not least, we have Maria Luisa. Okay, not here, maybe. Okay, do it again. Oh, okay, Maria Luisa, go. Luisa. Ah. Good evening. Yesterday, yesterday I, I wake up 6, uh, 6 a.m. Then brush my teeth. Um, then water my water my garden. Then take a bath. Take a bath. Um, they um, make a breakfast. Um, then. Um, go go to my my work. Then in in the office, uh, open the email. Then call my my customer, my, my customer or clients is similar. Yep. They are uh -huh. synonyms, synonyms, very good. Okay. Okay, Maria Luisa, thank you. Let's go. Look at okay. the chat, look at the chat on the Zoom. Okay, so I woke up. Well, okay, okay, then uh -huh. I brushed. Brush. Brushed. Uh -huh. Brushed. Okay. Brush. Uh -huh. I brushed my teeth. Then you have, I took a bath. Okay, I took a bath. Okay. okay, I made breakfast. Uh -huh. Made breakfast. Okay. Ah, Excellent. Then I went. I went to my work. I went to work. Oh, I, I went, went to work. I went my work. To uh, my work. Sí, porque no es suyo o es suyo, es suyo a la empresa, María Luisa. Yes, it's mine. <laughs> okay, okay, so that's good then. I went it's to work. Mine. Okay, I went to work. Yes, fui a trabajar. Si es suya la empresa, entonces sí. I went to my office. I went to my job, to my work. Perdón, si puedo decir, chicos, I went to my job, porque es mi trabajo, mi labor. Job. Okay, job. Pero I went to my work, es porque el edificio es mío. Okay. <laughs> Very good, okay. And I called, called, called customers. Customer. Mm -hmm. There you have. So you have everything in past. I woke up, I brushed, I brushed, I brushed, I brushed. Brush. Brush. Uh, Maria Luisa, I brushed, brushed, I brushed. I brushed. <laughs> there you go. Bessie lo puede hacer. Very good. I took a bath. I took, I took a bath. Took I took a bath. A bath. A bath. 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 <laughs> there you go. Made breakfast. I made breakfast. I went to work and I called customers. Okay. Work. Call. Call my customer. Customer. I called my customers. Okay. Good. Practice one more time and I will be back with you. Okay. Good job. Do it again. Come on, guys. At, at about 
1 a.m. Para hacerlo más realista. Then, sí, sería, sí, then I came back. Then I came back I came to back. San Salvador to stay at, the, at about 1 a.m. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't I sleep. Know. Huh? Don't sleep this day. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> didn't, I didn't <laughs> sleep. Okay. I mm -hmm. didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. Pero sería pasado como se escribe sleep. Uh, no, 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 porque estás hablando en negativa. I didn't sleep. Ah, es cierto, está ah. pasado. Sí, I didn't sleep. Eso sería después de la hora. Sí. I didn't sleep. Sería, I, sería, esa última versión sería Then I came back to San Salvador Tuesday. 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 Tuesday at about 1 a.m. And then? Okay. And then? <laughs> punto. Uh -huh. I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. Uh -huh. I didn't sleep. This day. Today. Mm -hmm. Well, this day, that day, that day. That I, day. I didn't sleep yesterday. I didn't sleep yesterday. Um, mm, aunque yes. estarías hablando de hoy, porque ya te levantaste a eso. Entonces, I haven't slept today. Presente perfecto. I haven't slept today. ¿Ya vieron el presente perfecto? Mm. No. No he dormido hoy. I haven't slept today. Okay. Forget it. So I didn't I didn't sleep today, Seria. I didn't sleep today. Yeah. So Seria, I didn't sleep yesterday. Pero ya es hoy. I didn't sleep today or I haven't slept today. No no dormí hoy. Uh -huh. O no he dormido. Sleep. Lo apropiado sería, Juliana, I haven't slept today. Que sería, no he dormido hoy. Um, okay. I, I haven't slept I today. I haven't slept. Thank you. You're welcome. Slept today. Uh, otra forma más natural oh, de decirlo oh. es, I'm sleepless. Uh, Ocupar un adjetivo. Me ha poco. I'm sleepless. De velado. I'm uh. sleepless. Ah. Less. Mm -hmm. Less. 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 Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's go back para que practiquen okay. enfrente de todos, ¿ok? <laughs> go. Hello, Mercy. Eh, me salí del grupo porque todos los compañeros se quedan con el micrófono apagado y no les escucho nada. <gasps> Oh my God. Ya lo vamos a regañar, espérese. Porque todavía no tengo interferencia y dimos el ejemplo y ya después yo, yo entré tarde, entonces les pregunté ah. qué eran las instrucciones uh -huh. y me dicen ya qué era. Y entonces nos dimos los ejemplos y después todos quedan con el micrófono. Ya vamos a hablar de eso ahorita porque si no está bien, hay que practicar, ese es el objetivo. Ok. Okay. Still, okay. Good. Welcome back. Uh, vamos a hablar algo. Creo que no falta nadie. Ok, ya estamos todos. Señores, en serio, el hecho de dividirlos en grupos 
es, uh, bueno, la, el objetivo principal es que ustedes practiquen. Uh, no los puedo visitar a todos, ahorita es segundo día, eh, me voy a tomar el tiempo con grupo por grupo, hoy visité a algunos, mañana visitaré a otros y así vamos a ir. A veces puede que la actividad sea muy corta y en este caso era un poco compleja la actividad, um, si nunca habían visto el pasado simple. Um, para algunos ya eso es fácil, yo sé, pero para otros no. Eh, el punto es, si los separo en grupos es para que practiquen, no se queden callados, procuren encender las cámaras, traten de estar en un lugar donde se puede encender la cámara, pues. ¿Por qué? Porque es bueno que te conozcan tus compañeros, en, por lo menos virtualmente tener ese contacto humano, ¿no? Ya que no podemos estar juntos presencialmente. ¿Ok? Yep. So, practiquemos eso. Let's see. Um, hmm. Por ejemplo, ahorita se me va a hacer difícil, pero bueno. Marlon, can you give me can you give me a letter between A and L? A letter between A and L. The letter C. Letter C, okay. Carmen Irene. Hello, Carmen Irene. Hello, teacher. Okay. What did you do yesterday? That's the question that you're going to answer. So, ready? You have one minute to answer the question. What did you do yesterday? Let me just set a sound. Teacher, okay. lo único que Her Hermes fue el que anotó. Oh, bueno, acá está. Ya, ya, olvídelo. Ahí está. Practice, practice. Okay. Oh, my God, that's too loud. I'm sorry. Wait. I think this one. Okay, be careful with your ears. Let's go with... What's her name? I forgot. <laughs> okay. Carmen. Okay, Carmen. Ready? You have one minute. Three, two, one. What did you do yesterday? Carmen? Okay, we lost her, I guess. Carmen, you didn't it? Maybe Carmen lost the internet. Yes, yeah, she lost the connection. Okay, who wants to try? Hermes, would you like to try? Okay. Sure, let's do it, right? I like that. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. What did you do yesterday? Go. Uh, I, I work here. I work here from the beach, Los Cobanos, until noon. And after we had lunch with Abigail, Hermes, and Stephanie, Caluco Chicken Restaurant Soup. We ate a lot, and the afternoon we went for an ice cream. The rest of the afternoon we went to shopping many things and spent all our money. Keep uh, going, keep going. <laughs> You're doing great. Uh, uh, this, is, this is all. That's all. all. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, great job, Hermes. Great job. Okay, I'm going to stop this. Start it over. I'm going to have to let it finish. Um, okay, good, Hermes. Uh, that was amazing, amazing example. You didn't stop talking. I like that. Okay, now when you finish talking, you can say, that's all. Yeah, uh, try, be careful. Hermes, Hermes didn't do it. He didn't say only that. Okay, he didn't say only that. That's Spanish. Don't say only that, okay? You have to say that that's it. Listen, that's it. That's it. Okay. You can say that's about it. And that's about it. Yes. Okay, that's about it. That's all and that's all. What Hermes tried to say was that's all I can think of right now. Good job, Hermes. That's, that's all. I can... all uh, uh, the, when when we use the that's all, solo al usar esas palabras no es muy formal. Oh. That's all. No, no, no. It's okay. That's it. 
Um, but like this, be natural, be natural. I like that from you. You were natural, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's about it. And that's all I can think of right now. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Got it. Great job. Okay, now repeat. Okay, I worked. 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 Excellent. I work. work. So look, the base verb is work. 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 Uh, work. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, listen. Work. 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 Here, here, work. the K. And then you say work. 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 Two sounds. Work. Let me hear, let me hear Hermes. Worked. Worked. There you go. Worked. Worked. Excellent. Ahí está. Okay. ¿Por qué ocurre esto, chicos? Eh, hay una cosa en inglés que se llama final sounds. Cada palabra que decís tiene un sonido final. Cada palabra. En su forma base, los verbos tienen un sonido final. En el pasado, sumas, sumas el sonido final más la ed en los verbos regulares. Era lo que cubrimos ayer. Vean la, la clase de ayer, el final. En este caso, work termina con el sonido k. Work. K, k, y se produce acá la k. k, k, k. Work. 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 Ahí estás. Work. Perfecto. Le agrego la ed y esa ed va a sonar a t, 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 t. Work, work, work. Ahí está. Perfecto. María Luisa, very good. Worked. 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 Excellent. There you go. Now, let's see. You said we went to shopping. You don't need the preposition here. We went shopping. We went to shopping. We went shopping. We went shopping. We went shopping. We went shopping. You could say we went swimming. We went, we went, we swim. went swimming, we went swimming, we went dancing, we went swimming, swimming, we, we went, went dancing, we went, went shopping. Okay, went shopping. that's an activity, and that's why you have it in ing or the present participle. We went shopping. Okay, good, great job, Hermes. Now, can you please select one more person, Hermes? Um, one more person. Yep. Anybody? Just choose somebody. Uh, Giovanni Palacios. Giovanni oh. Palacios. Woo! Okay. Say thank you. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Giovanni. Ready? Okay. What do you do yesterday? Listen, what do you do yesterday? Three. What do you two, do yesterday? One. Um, action. You do just yesterday, two. I visited my family in Nebraska and we went to a lake and we ate a lot of fish and shrimp. <laughs> we stayed all the weekend. Then I came back to San Salvador Tuesday about. 1 a.m. I am sleepless. That's it. Yeah, this. That's it. Is that it? No, Tuesday. Yeah. Okay, is that that's it? That's all? That's all. Okay. Good. Bien, chicos. Una con un consejo um, como entrevistador, como reclutador, se lo digo. Es importantísimo que ustedes continúen hablando hasta por los codos y aunque digan tontería y media, si lo ven así, sigan hablando, no se detengan, ¿ok? Ante todo, si es una entrevista en la embajada o en una entrevista de trabajo o para ascenderlos en el trabajo, les pueden hacer una entrevista en inglés. Hey, no te detengas hasta que el entrevistador te diga, ok, ok, that's it, that's it, thank you, good job, ¿ok? Porque lo importante es ver tu fluidez. ¿Qué me va a dar esa fluidez? Agarrar más verbos. Agarrar más, más, más verbos. ¿Ok? Good. Let's go. A lo que les decía, ¿eh? Positivo o negativo pregunta. Todos los días. Ya vas a ver. Uh, I think you said shrimp. We ate shrimp. fish. Shrimp. 
and shrimps. Shrimp. Giovanni, is that what you said? Yes. Excellent. We, we, okay, so it's shrimps. 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 It's difficult. Difficult, you say? Shrimps. Now, look, look, look. Shri, 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 shri. Shrimp. Shrimp. Now let's add the M. Shrimp. 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 And now let's add the P. Shrimp. 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 Very good. Okay. Let's go with stayed. 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 Ahora, ojo, no hay una E antes de la S, chicos. Stayed. Stayed. There you go. Stayed. Now, you said, I came back Tuesday. I came by. I came back Tuesday. I came back on Tuesday. I came back on Tuesday. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Ok, bien, vamos a aprender algo más este día. Vamos a hacer una introducción al siguiente tema. Next topic. So this was simple past with actions, right? With actions. Now let's talk about simple past. Can you see the screen? Simple past. Yes. You can see simple the screen, past. ok. Good. Yeah, yeah. Ok. Was where? Excellent, yes. No actions. No action. action. Like that. No actions. Now, this is like the same thing when you, when you started uh, the verb to be in simple present. So you need a subject. Okay. You need a subject. You have I, you, we, they. And then you have this thing doesn't take the tab. Okay. He, she, it, okay. So the verb to be in simple present was I am, you are. One second. Bien, vamos a silenciarnos todos para poder poner atención. El verbo to be in present era, remember? I am, you are, we are, they are, he is, she is, it is. Tenías tres formas. M, is, are. In the simple past, with the verb to be, no actions, is the same thing. But here you have was. Okay. Here you have where. Here you have where. They, where. Okay. And here was. Was. And was. Just where or was. Y es lo mismo. Este es el verbo to be en pasado. ¿Qué puedo agregar acá después del verbo to be? De la misma forma que en el presente simple voy a agregar cualquier cosa menos verbos. No verbos aún. ¿Ok? No puedo agregar un verbo en su forma base después del verbo to be. En presente o en pasado simple. Simple. ¿Ok? So I say puedo agregar... Uh, adjectives, adjetivos. Can somebody give me an adjective? I am pensando en adjetivos, okay? Okay. Um, okay, I was adjectives. I can add numbers, okay? I can add numbers. I can add um, prepositions. Okay, piensen sobre preposiciones. And I think that's all. Hmm. I could add nouns too. Puedo agregar nombres. Bien, vamos a hacer ejemplos. So, ¿cómo agregaría yo un adjetivo a I was? Alguien, vamos. Volunteer. Nos queda pocos minutos. Aprovechemos el tiempo. Uh -huh. I was happy. I was happy. I was happy, okay? 
You were. Otro adjetivo. Come on. Pretty. You were pretty. Good. Okay. You were pretty. Now let's add a number. Hmm. Many. We're tired. Tired. You were tired. Very good. You were tired. Eso es una adjective, right? It's an adjective. We were number. Many. Number. Eighteen. Oh. You, you, I'm sorry. Eighteen. Good. We were eighteen years old. Remember, for the age, you don't use have or has. You say verb to be. You were 18 years old. You were we were 30 years old. I was 30 years old. I was 21. And I can add numbers. OK, they were. Let's add prepositions. They were prepositions. Okay, you don't remember? Let's add a preposition. They were at Metro Centro yesterday. Uy, they were at Metro Centro yesterday. He was in the bank when you called. Okay, and nouns. She was a nurse. Okay. It was hot yesterday. It was cold yesterday. Momento, this is an adjective, cold and hot. It was hmm. It was a plane. Era un avión. El que pasó ya. Okay, so anything you want, you can add it here, but not a verb on its base form. No puedes agregar un verbo en su forma base después del verbo to be. Porque no tendría sentido. Si yo digo, I was run, I was run, sería, yo estaba a correr. Mm. No, right? Okay, chicos. Okay. Ah, ok. Eso, querida amiga mía, es pasado progresivo. I was running, estoy diciendo yo estaba corriendo. Pero no hemos visto eso ahorita. Ese es el punto y gracias. Estamos en pasado simple con el verbo to be. Yo estaba, yo era, mañana. Vamos a hacer una actividad súper dinámica, un juego súper chivo que a mí me gusta. Ok. Quiero que piensen en un personaje que ya esté muerto, que ya haya fallecido. Michael Jackson, Juan Gabriel. John uh, Lennon. John Lennon. Pero, o sea, alguien conocido, ¿verdad? tampoco vayan a ser como... No sé, Martin Luther King, no sé. Sí, algo, algo que se ha conocido para todos, pero que ya esté muerto. Un carácter, un personaje que ya esté muerto. Vamos a jugar a algo, pero estén a tiempo. Siempre las clases las vamos a empezar con lo que terminamos la clase anterior, ¿ok? Y con alguna dinámica para que ustedes se, se pongan a hablar. De nuevo, su misión es platicar, señores. Eh, les dejo con esta inquietud, eh, pero terminando, terminando el tema, nos queda un minuto. So, I was happy. En este caso, el auxiliar de este tiempo gramatical sería was. Como toda regla gramatical, voy a continuar en español porque es la primera vez que lo vemos. Voy a agregar el not al auxiliar. I was not happy. You were not pretty. We were not 18 years old. Ahora bien, yo también puedo contractuar y decir wasn't. Ok, puedo decir weren't. No, weren't. Mira, weren't. Así de fácil. Wasn't, weren't. I wasn't, you weren't, we weren't, they weren't, he wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't. Así de fácil. Para hacer una pregunta, tan fácil como mover el auxiliar al principio de la oración y tengo auxiliar, 
sujeto, complemento. ¿Ok? Was it a plane? Mira. Was it a plane? Era un avión. Era un was avión lo que pasó. Was it a plane? Was it, was it ¿Ok? A plane? Good. Were you, were you 18 years old? Tenían 18 años, ¿ok? Were they at Metro Center yesterday? Estaban en Metro Center ayer. Good. Tan fácil como eso. Y ahí tenés tu positiva, negativa, pregunta. Study. Study this for tomorrow. Estudien esto por mañana, ¿ok? En especial las preguntas. ¿Ves? ¿Eh? Para que hagamos ese, ese jueguito al principio. Los espero, por favor, traten de estar a las 8. Y no se les olvide ir a la plataforma, comentar en el, bajo el video, ya cuando esté activa la plataforma, cuando se les informe que ya esté activa la plataforma, eh, pues vayan a la plataforma y completen los ejercicios de esta semana, ¿ok? I'll see you okay. tomorrow. Take okay. care. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.